Hello, we're back. In episode 28, I said we'd be talking about the Invader port to the Talon Television in BASIC using IntiBASIC in Linux using my Steam Deck in desktop mode. Let's take a look at my Steam Deck connected to a small TV via HDMI. Using the Steam Deck docking station, I also have a wireless mouse and keyboard connected and a Bluetooth controller. So we can use this device as a desktop Linux PC for development. First, we'll look at our anti-basic invader code in the Genie Editor. Anti-basic has the ease of use of basic, but without the annoying line numbers, and is structured more like a simplified Python. And it gets compiled to a very fast .bin file that can be run on an emulator or real Intellivision. Anti-basic is to the Intellivision, what Batari Basic that I covered back in episode 19 is to the Atari 2600. Here's what Invader looks like in Inti Basic. My sprites are in a separate file to keep things neat. Here's an image of the sprites. You can see that because these are more than 8 pixels wide, I had to create a left and right side and put them back together in code. This is the turret, and this is what the turret left and right sides look like. Here's the turret shot. Here's the turret explosion. Frame A, left and right. Frame B, left and right. And you can see the invader... This guy here, the most well-known sprite, left and right sides. And his uh, second frame of animation, left and right sides. This is his shot and his explosion. This is his uh, explosion over here and his little wiggly shot. Both the invader code and the sprite files are saved with a .bas extension. Now we can go over here into a terminal and we'll go ahead and compile everything. Now we're running it in the JZ INTV emulator. Problem is for some reason when I run this from the terminal, I don't get any sound on my Steam Deck. I'll make this quick and then I'll show you okay so that's game over we tap once to go back to the title screen and tap again to go back into the game if I run the game on the emulator through emulation station through Steam The sound works. Also, you'll notice that this is set up to play in full screen mode. And there it is, game over. I thought I might as well show it running on the Steam Deck itself. And there it is, running on the actual Steam Deck. Created on the Steam Deck, running on the Steam Deck. I'm still trying to find out why, with the help of one incredibly helpful person known as J Energy, over on the Atari Age forums for Inti Basic, this person bent over backwards 
helping me to get these tools working on my Steam Deck in the first place. A shout out to J Energy. And here's the thread over on Atari Age. IntiBasic was created by Oscar Toledo, Guterres, and is amazing. He also has published two books on programming games in IntiBasic, and a book on programming Atari 2600 games in assembly language, and a few other books. I highly recommend these books if you are at all interested in any of these topics. So that about wraps up episode 29 of My Journey in Game Programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Commodore VIC-20 in BASIC. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.